Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Mancia. I'm a student assistant for the study abroad office and I studied abroad um, in a faculty led program back in 2018 and I did a, I went to Costa Rica. It was just a great experience. So welcome to study abroad preview day. Give me one second. So it's not me. So some study abroad myths are that you have to know a foreign language to study abroad. We do have several um, English speaking programs and we offer several programs to meet your language abilities. So even if you know Spanish, Japanese or anything like that, we offer that. Or you're also just able to take um, classes in English uh, in the country abroad. Um, for example, we have music programs in Czech Republic, Spain and Sweden which they're all conducted primarily in English. Um, other students though, either because they know the language already, or maybe they are language majors or minors, study abroad in the local language. Um, let us know what you wanna study abroad and where, and we will help you find a program that fits your needs, whether you know a different language or not, but there's a program for everyone. Um, another study abroad myth is that you have to, you won't graduate on time. Um, study abroad should be a part of your four year experience at UNT, not a reason it takes longer. We work closely with your academic advisors to help you find your ideal courses that will satisfy requirements of your major or minor, as well as any core or electives. A third myth is that I could never afford study abroad, which is not true at all. I'm a low income first generation student and I was able to find a program that was budget friendly and UNT um, the study abroad office offers scholarships as well, and you're also able to use financial aid. And as well, um, there's also outside scholarships that aren't part of UNT, but it, there is budget friendly programs and we can find any budget friendly options for students to go abroad. So some benefits of studying abroad. The world is interconnected. So what do I mean when I say that the world is interconnected and that study abroad is important? We have all met people from other countries and other cultures in our lives. Maybe we have worked with them or done business with them or they were neighbors or friends, but it goes beyond that, especially after graduation. More than 75% of S&P 500 companies report some sort of global revenue. Um, those are major employers, many of which are based here in the North Texas area that are internationally connected with globally divorced workforces. These are the big companies. Those are the big companies there, but there are plenty of small companies too. Whether your goal is to work in a hospital, an ad agency, an arts organization, a hotel, the government, or company of any kind, um, you will interact with people from other several countries and other cultures and employers will expect you to work with them as your client, your supervisor, and um, part of your team. How does going abroad benefit me, you may ask? So um, studying abroad can help you gain a whole new international perspective, as well as developing skills for later in life, as it did for me. Um, being one of the few fluent Spanish speakers on the study abroad trip that I did, even though we did Costa, Costa Rica, like I said earlier, you don't have to know the language. Um, it was a Spanish speaking program, but there were still some of uh, um, other people who just didn't know the pro uh, this language that well, but it did teach me um, independence and problem solving in a new country and culture. Um, understanding how to problem solve in Costa Rica has really helped me in my current job where I interact with people from lots of countries and often in Spanish because I feel a lot more confident in my problem solving skills and much more fluent in Spanish. So it did, um, it taught me self-confidence more in speaking Spanish and just not in a family setting or friend setting. It taught me also in just a different type of setting. Um, yeah. So for the study abroad payoff, oh, sorry. Studying abroad can help gain valuable job skills such as adaptability and problem solving while abroad, which can benefit when you when job searching. According to IES, job study abroad returnees earn on average $6,000 more on their starting salaries compared to recent US college graduates. Um, moreover, 84% of study abroad returnees report building valuable job skills during their experience abroad. So studying abroad can help you academically, culturally, and professionally. At UNT, we work closely with students and their advisors to ensure studying abroad is the right thing for the student um, and to ensure that they are on track to graduate. Study abroad is also a great time to experience different cultures and see new things. For example, even though I am um, from a Latinx 
um, heritage, I still am Mexican. So going to Costa Rica was a whole different thing, even though it is from Latin America, it still was a different culture and it was just a great experience after all. So going abroad can also help develop new skills in multicultural settings and make you stand out to employers. Um, so studying abroad with UNT in Costa Rica actually made me stand out in my internship interview, which helped me secure an internship just because the guy, um, my interviewer had also studied abroad in Costa Rica. So that was the way we were able to relate and it just helped a lot. So now that we have talked about all the ways that study abroad can benefit you here at UNT, um, personally, professionally, and academically, let's talk about how you can actually go abroad. So what can I study abroad? So the thing I usually tell students when they begin their career at UNT, and really every other time I talk with other students, is that it is so important to talk to your academic advisor once you uh, meet with them and stuff like that, and let them know that you want to go abroad eventually, even like now or later on. So talking to your academic advisor early and often will help you find the courses you can take abroad in your degree, degree program and which course you need to take here at UNT. Generally speaking, you can take major, minor, core courses and electives abroad as well, but your advisor will be able to tell you if there are any limitations on your major, minor, or any requirements like that. Additionally, they can help you organize your four-year schedule plan so you know the optional time to go abroad based on what you have already taken and what you need to take. Once you know what your academic requirements are, then a study abroad advisor can help you find a program that matches those needs for you. So which program is right for me? There are several things to take into consideration when trying to find the right program for you. A main one is academics. Make sure that when studying abroad, the courses fit into your major or minor requirements and that you are still on track to graduate. Another consideration is your personal goals. Whether it be professional or cultural, think about how studying abroad fits into those goals and can help you achieve them. Finances is something that I took very big into consideration when I studied abroad because I wanted a program that was affordable and that still fit into my degree plan and goals. Take into consideration what programs can fit in your budget and how you plan, plan on paying for your study abroad, whether it be with scholarships, financial aid, or savings. So here's a little bit about our program. So we have affiliate programs, exchange programs, and faculty-led programs. So affiliate programs are usually offered during the semester summer, um, and ex as well as with exchange semester programs and summer programs, while faculty-led programs are mainly offered only during the summer and spring break and May semester programs. So here are some benefits and challenges when it comes to semester and academic year programs. So the first thing to consider is how long you want to go abroad. So we have a number of options and the ways you can go abroad. The most traditional way to go abroad for an entire semester um, for, is for an entire semester or an academic year. This is truly the cheapest way to go abroad because you can use money you are already planning to go to study at UNT. Um, additionally, semester programs have the greatest availability of financial aid and scholarships. Semester programs are also the best time to find courses you may need your major and for really becoming a local. So for summer programs, um, there is a very popular time just because everyone has that extra time. So during the summer, you can either go on a faculty-led program with other UNT faculty and students or one of our affiliate programs. Um, during the summer, you can either take courses or complete an internship abroad as well to get your real life experience. And a summer is just a great time to either take courses to get ahead or extra courses you don't have time for, kind of a bonus time or courses to help you catch up to stay on track for graduation. So that's what I did. Like I completed my minor courses in my summer of 2018 between my sophomore and junior year. And that really helped a lot. So just to not have to worry about those minor courses during the academic year. So a little bit about faculty-led programs. Um, they're great to do if you're interested in short-term programs, if you don't wanna go abroad for a whole semester or academic year, if you just wanna go like during the summer for a month or two, um, they can vary from two weeks to two months throughout the summer. Faculty-led programs allow you to earn UNT credit abroad while traveling and studying with other UNT students and faculty. It's easier um, just because the credits are easier to transfer instead of having to um, transfer them from another university and stuff like that. It's like if you're taking a UNT class, but 
in another country. Um, there are also other faculty-led programs also occur over winter semester and our geo programs during spring break. There are also several affordable options and as well as students who receive VA benefits are able to use them towards faculty-led program costs. I really enjoyed my experience with the faculty-led program as it helped me connect with several other UNT students and locals abroad. So now for researching programs. So we would recommend to talk to your advisors first um, to see what courses you should take while you're abroad. And step number two is go to our website, studyabroad.unt.edu. You would click explore programs to open up our program search tool. You can search by location, major, semester, and many other variables. So you can just look up, um, let's say Spain, and you can just put Spain and it can show you all the programs or like Spain, Spanish, Spain business, stuff like that. And you can just um, vary it by then. And then after that, just after you get an idea of what kind of program you're interested in, you can talk with the UNT Study Abroad Advisor to further explore the programs you found and ask questions and see if it's the right fit for you and how we can help you from there. So here's a, a sample program. As I understand, we have some education students and stuff like that. So a quick fact is for summer 2021, we do have a South Africa Education and Social Change Program. So you would just go uh, study education and social change with Dr. Pamela Peak, and it's this faculty-led program and this was offered from May 29, 2021 to June 21, 2021. So we also have a music program. So this one is more a, of an exchange program. It's an affordable UNT exchange program. There's apartment style dormitories and it's a mix of lecture, individual, small and medium ensemble courses and it's um, offered in the Czech Republic. Um, another sample program, this one's of an, an affiliate program and you can study abroad and get an internship while you're in Sydney, Australia. And this one's offered during the fall, spring or academic year if you wanna go for a whole year. So now for the important part where everyone <laughs> worries more about financing, financing study abroad. So there are several ways you can finance study abroad. So you can use existing scholarships, UNT scholarships that you may get already, or financial aid that you are offered either grants or loans. You can also use new scholarships. So there's like the Gilman scholarship. Um, you can also use um, our study abroad office scholarship. So we do offer two scholarships and it can um, go up to $2,500, um, just depending on if you're going for a semester, a whole year, or just for the summer, and this as well as student loans. So some quick things to know that is important. Um, your first opportunity to go study abroad is the summer after your first year. So if you're an entering freshman, it would have to be the summer after that. Or if you're a transfer student, if you're coming in the spring, you can go study abroad that summer. It just might be a little difficult just because um, you have to have a UNT GPA, but it just really depends, but we can definitely make it work. Um, and then as well, or if you come in October as a transfer student, I mean, in the fall and as a transfer student, then you can go study abroad that summer. So another thing is application deadlines are in September, October for spring program, and then February, March for summer, and then summer, fall and academic year programs. So in order to be able to study abroad, you must maintain a 2.0 GPA to be eligible, but your selected program requirements um, will likely be higher. So some programs may require a 2.5. Um, some fa most of the faculty-led programs do require 2.5. It just really depends, but we can also make that work. And as well as affiliate or affiliate or exchange may offer even higher. So it just truly depends on the program. So next thing is to make it happen. So how do you actually get abroad? Here's your quick review. Start by talking to your academic advisor. Do some research online about which programs you might be interested in, talk with a study abroad advisor and apply to go abroad online. Apply for scholarships, make a budget and boom, you're on a plan ahead for a life-changing experience. So here's some, just some quick health and safety. We understand with everything going on. So we are constantly monitoring the global health, including COVID safety and risk situation through a network of partners and sources of information. Um, so COVID has led UNT to cancel UNT sponsored programs through spring 2021, but the UNT study abroad office looks forward to offering UNT sponsored programs as soon as summer 2021, but you are able to study abroad during spring 2021 um, 
through affiliate, just no longer UNT sponsored programs, but we are looking to have that up again by summer 2021. Even when you are abroad, um, we do have 24 seven support abroad to our students through our office, our insurance provider and our global hosting partners. So thanks for joining us to learn uh, more about study abroad. For more information about our program scholarships or to see what other students have done while studying abroad, make sure to follow us on social media at UNT Study Abroad through at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We do post a lot and just updates. You can also see what other students we have in takeovers on our highlights, what other students and how the different programs they've done. And it's very interesting. Or if you have any questions, you can also email us at studyabroad at unt.edu. We will stay uh, some extra time. So if anybody has a question and wants to ask something to our presenter, feel free to ask. You can either put it in the chat or maybe there should be an option so that you can um, raise your hand. So we, I should be able to unmute you if you prefer to do that way. If not, the presentation is done. So you guys can go ahead and um, leave the session. And then thanks for coming. Thank you.